So here we are in the garden with Tom Selleck, or also known as John Pevoy. That's it. We're, um, we're playing phones today. So we've got uh, the bold, new and the old, um, John Pevoy's new 8320. Thank, thank you, Flory. Thank you very much, Pat. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> I'll have a chat with Flory next week in London. Um, we've got... Um, some new Nokia's, new packaging, really nice, super light, as you can see, look, um, just to show you an idea of the size, so that's the new Nokia packaging, it's really clever, so, uh, we've got um, something in a box here waiting for Damien Mully, um, so we, we, John hasn't even seen it yet, so the best thing to do is ask John what he thinks. I know HTC anyway. Obviously. <laughs> I know them from before. Uh -huh. This is nice. It's nice. very plasticky. But it's not unpleasant. It's I not unpleasant, but it's very plasticky. It looks quite plasticky, but that's, it looks consumer. It does look consumer. Yeah. You know, I like the way it flips. Do you see it? It pushes out and up. I like the way it flips, but I'm a little bit, you know, the, the um, the actual hinge mechanism is, is a little too visible for me. And I think that's what a lot of I think that's what a lot of people that was um, complaints that I I heard already the hinge mechanism and it's a bit it kind of rather than slides it could take your finger off kind of way you know. It's a little bit it's a little bit abrupt a little sudden. You've got the um, slide slide is sideways. It's quite awkward to open to get the sim and battery into, but that's unlocked completely unlocked. Um, so I, uh, hopefully, it's, I, I think it might be the first unlocked one in Ireland. I'm hoping it will anyway. It's actually quite comfortable in the hand. Very it's comfortable. very comfortable. That's what I liked about it, and uh, we'll try, you know, get in on it there. It's very, very, you know, it's just the right size. It, it, they've taught a lot. You know what I like about it? Someone said, take that away, but I find that makes it very ergonomically comfortable in your hand. It fits just right, and it, it positions your thumbs where you want them to the be. The screen is outstanding. Um, okay, I'd have to switch it on, yeah, but uh, I think it's somewhere. Is this? Ho oh no, it's hold the red. Sorry, you're yeah, right. Hold the red. Okay. So um, we'll take it out of the, the shine of the. Well, it okay. does. It. I don't find it unpleasant. I'm surprised. I thought I didn't really fancy it just seeing it in pictures, but it's got enough weight to feel solid and not. It's not heavy. I, I expected it to be heavier. Yeah. Um, so it's just right in, in that sense. I like the keys. I'd like if it started up a bit faster. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's sort of taken its, its time. Android. Android. With our little green man. Very interesting. But it does, it's a little on the slow side to, to start up. So here's what you've got now, John. <laughs> a bit of heckling from the audience. A heckling from the audience. And so here's your, I can show you this, this is quite clever. Wow. Isn't that nice? The resolution is fabulous. The resolution is great. The touch screen is great. And you've got a, a tracker ball here that works in the exact same manner as the BlackBerry tracker ball. This is, this is the way HTC operate. I like it. They, they give you options. They give you other ways of doing things. Sometimes it can be a little bit fiddly, but this seems well, to work. Well, I only got it last night, so what I done was unlock this, um, put in the Vodafone APN, and see how I got on. Mm. And I like it, but I don't have the time this weekend to play with it, or this week, because I'm traveling again tomorrow. Mm. And uh, I'm sure Damien Molly will give it a good um, hammering. But that's nice, isn't it? That's I like it. I like it. I think it's got a, the intuitive nature. I'm not a fan of new... I'm very much not a fan of new systems. I get used to BlackBerry or I get used to Nokia. But this, I can see I get used to it very quickly. I can actually see I can be comfortable navigating through the system. Yeah. I like it and I don't often say that straight away about things. And, and, and it's comfortable without being bulky, you know? So then it's extraordinary comfortable. Like you could see that... Um, there's a bit of sidekick. Have you seen the sidekick, the old T-Mobile? Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of that influence in it. Very much. And then, of course, you flip it and the <coughs> screen changes to portrait mode. Yeah. And as a phone, 
Yeah. Well, I, I, I have to say, John, I made some test calls last night, and the quality on the test calls was as good as I've had on mobile. Okay. What about the, the camera? I didn't. There's no video. No um, video. But I... But I I hear, but don't announce it, I heard of some rock stars in Redwood City working on video. I believe it, at least one rock star. <laughs> and the uh, camera, what resolution? Three, three, I think. Okay. I don't I use my, I, I use it for video, but I don't use it to take pictures, so. Okay, so let's just see, if I hit the camera button and it doesn't actually open. The camera. The camera. <laughs> just maybe a little counterintuitive. I'd like to see it do something like that. It's probably if it works. So uh, I, I think this is Ireland's first review. I didn't review it, so I think you've uh, you've done the first review of Android, T-Mobile, G1, um, with a with a a much solider type interview or a much solider type review to come from Damien Molly, I have no doubt. Absolutely. So uh, this is I, a non techy review. Yeah. So I'm not going to use it, and what I'm going to do for the next few months is send it around the country. And I'm going to get guys to test, and I know uh, Will Knott is asked me to test at Bernie. So Damien can have it this weekend, and they can bang it around and have a play with it. I, I'm going to stick on the E71 for the moment because uh, I really like it. I think people will like it. I think they're going to really... I'm not sure we're going to see it, though, John. It's, it's on T-Mobile. It, it, it's launched in the UK, I think. Um, so, you know, who's going to carry it in Ireland? That'd be a real shame. That'd be I think it has it has a very much a place with high tech individuals, people that want to use advanced functionality, people that are comfortable with a keyboard on their phone, and people that want to use. I think kids are going to go insane. Te late teens are going to go insane on this. Is that the market they're looking for? Well, you know, what's the average age of a Google employee? Late yeah. teens, early twenties. Yeah. So I think this is going to be. Um, it's squarely aimed at um, the up-and-coming market, mm. and I think it's aimed at the, 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 the young...